This is the EKSA E900 Pro 2-in-1 gaming headset. I say 2-in-1 because apparently they can be used as basic headphones as well as a gaming unit too. They are supposedly compatible with PS5 and PS4 consoles as well as Xbox One, although an adapter may be needed. Now this EKSA headset also works with Nintendo Switch and smartphones and also has 7.1 surround sound that unfortunately is only available via PC and laptop using that EKSA 7.1 surround sound app. To download the app, simply go to www.ekSA.net forward slash download, which is also printed on the back of the box. Also on the back of the box is a nice little contents list, and it looks to me like we've got loads of accessories. Inside the box, we have a tie string bag with that EKSA logo embedded. No, it's not leather, but we have indeed seen this same carry case which was supplied with some of our One Audio wireless headphones that we have previously reviewed. Inside are the E900s themselves. They are very light, I must say they do look kind of small though, but I will indeed note that they are extendable, adjustable, very flexible, and one thing I do notice though, right from the off, is those on-show red curly wires that are connected through the headband to both of those 50mm drive units. I'm not entirely keen on this aspect, and I just don't know, over time and through wear and tear, how long they may last, especially after adjusting those driver units up and down, or for example, tilting them. Now, they do have a nice plush padded headband, again, with that EKSA logo embedded to the top. With black metal sidearms and soft feeling replaceable ear pads, but well, it's good to see that we also have the left and right icons that is printed on that inner foam lining. Hmm. Trying them on. Right away, they do feel quite comfortable, surprisingly. Okay, they have a bit of a stretch to get them on comfortably, but once on, they are quite stable upon your head, uh -huh. but unfortunately, they don't have any type of passive noise isolation. <laughs> now, what's cool about this headset is that they do illuminate on the side of the drive units. We are provided with a very lengthy USB to USB Type-C audio cable, which will power those lights, and that cable will also work with PCs and laptops to supply audio too. Yes, red LED lights, no, do not RGB, with an open mesh grill surround. Now with this particular gaming headset, it does come with a free EKSA gaming headset stand. You do also get a 3.5mm to 3.5mm lockable audio cable, lockable after being inserted into the 3.5mm port on the left hand driver unit. Inserting it and twisting it clockwise to lock into place. In addition to this, I will note that a normal audio cable will also work with this headset, just in case this one goes faulty. So we get an audio mic splitter adapter too, which is provided for those PCs with dual mic and audio sockets. There's a handy detailed user guide, and okay, looks like we've got a bendable, positionable noise cancelling microphone with a thick foam pop filter that's already fitted. It does indeed have a 3.5mm connection, which slots nicely into that left-hand drive unit. So yes, the microphone can be positioned stably, close to your mouth, or away from it, which it's good to see that it won't fall down of its own accord after being positioned like the previous EKSA AirJoy Pro mic did. Yep, we do have a clickable mute button on the side of the drive unit too, as well as an easy to reach volume control wheel. So now the unboxing's out of the way, all that's left to do is plug this into our devices, such as PlayStation 5 today, and we're just going to test the microphone and audio quality out. Here yeah, guys, we're playing the Sleeping Dogs game, which is a PS4 game by the way, on the PS5 console, and we're just going to test the microphone and audio quality. So the microphone is about two inches away from my mouth just now. I've listened back to a few audio recordings and it doesn't seem to get that much distorted, especially when talking loud like this! Woo! So yeah, pretty good uh, mic pickup, kind of clear, and when it comes to the audio quality, well, the audio levels are actually surprisingly good. The mid levels are fine, high levels are really good, and there's not too much bass, which is pleasing to see because cheap budget gaming headsets, they do like to offer a load of bass just to cover up all the other poor levels. So yeah, pretty good bass, not too over the top. They're not extremely loud to be honest, and there's not much sound seal, so I can actually still hear the outside world, even when this headset is at full maximum volume. So with the surround sound, I can hear my surroundings, there's loads of different voices within this marketplace we're in just now. There's someone here just talking. Yeah, pretty good surround sound, even though it's not expressing that 7.1 surround sound that you can actually get on PC and laptop. 
I mean, I must admit, I tell you guys just now that most gaming headsets do have the capability of surround sound. It just depends how well made they actually are. Right now, these E900s, they're pretty good. Fantastic, in fact, actually, because uh, I can... You can hear distant voices, just when you're running away from people, you can actually hear the distant voices of their conversations in the opposite direction from where you are running from. Let's just try that uh, USB Type-C cable, see if it works on the PS5. Oh. So we've plugged in the USB Type-C into the PlayStation and we've plugged this gaming headset up to our PS5 via that cable. And I must say the surround sound is much better to be honest and I think that's because that 3D audio is enabled on the PS5 console. Ah! <laughs> Phone home! And I don't know if it's just me but there is a superior sound in comparison to using this gaming headset with that 3.5mm audio cable. So guys, I've been using this gaming headset on the Metro game on my laptop using that 7.1 surround sound app that was downloaded from the EKSA website and I've got to be truly honest guys that in comparison to using it with a PS5 for example you can notice a massive difference using these gaming headsets in conjunction with that downloaded app not only can you hear very close conversations and the direction of those conversations but you can also clearly hear conversations that are happening in the far distance audio is loud and puncher the only thing I've noticed after playing back a bit of the audio pickup is that the microphone quality when plugged into this laptop using that same EKSA 7.1 surround sound app, the microphone level just seems to be kind of flat and a bit low. But yes, the microphone pickup when using this gaming headset on the PlayStation is really good, but when using this headset on a laptop or PC, it's not exactly going to blow your socks off. So yeah, up to now, thumbs up and back to the studio overall even though this EKSA E900 Pro gaming headset does have pretty good audio quality and quite decent microphone pickup too the only thing that does let it down is that nice isolation unfortunately you don't feel too locked away especially when the volume's at medium level and you don't feel like you're locked in the zone now yes when the volume is cranked up to the full capacity it's not extremely loud it will keep the outside noise locked away somewhat but one plus point we will note is the audio levels were almost spot on now the bass isn't too over exaggerated we do get certain gaming headsets you know they pack a load of bass in to camouflage all the other mixed up audio tones but with this EKSA E900 gaming headset it's pleasing to see that we do have nicely leveled mids and fantastic high tones too now with the low tones Again, very good. We did pinpoint certain aspects to our surroundings when in gameplay. And although that surround sound 7.1 couldn't be activated via our consoles, I will say that the polarity between both of the drivers is pretty good with basic surround sound. Now let's talk about the two-in-one. Now, if you were to use these as a normal headphone set, I've got to be honest, you're not going to look good walking down the street with these. You can clearly tell that this is a gaming headset. The two-in-one aspects, to me, doesn't work. Say you're going to work with these on, everyone's going to look at you and say, that's a gaming headset, what's he doing? And those red wires, the way they stand out, not a good look, to be honest. So, look-wise, for a gaming headset, it doesn't look too bad. It's nice and light, very easy to store away. Definitely not going to be used as a normal headphone set. But I can actually see me, or in fact, my son or my daughter, using this headset because the mic quality, to be honest, as thin as that 3.5mm adapter mic is, it actually does a pretty good job. So, you guys, for looks, I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10. I do think they're more aimed towards teens and maybe children. Don't excel at a professional look, to be honest. But when it comes to the audio, for audio quality, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. For the mic quality, oh, it's a close one. I think I'm going to give, yeah, another 9 out of 10. It wasn't any distortion when it comes to speaking loudly or even shouting down the microphone. So, in fact, my overall score for this gaming headset today is going to be 7 out of 10. So yes, another light gaming headset, which if you do want to check this one out, I will go ahead and leave a link in the video description down below. Now, I am not affiliated in any way. You're free to check that link out should you wish. But if you do like what you see, well, why not go get yours? While you're in that video description, guys, please make sure to smash that like button. Please subscribe to our channel today. It means so much. But make sure to hit that bell notification option too, so you guys stay updated upon our new uploads. Now, I hope to be doing a few more reviews in the next few days, so stay tuned for them. And as usual, guys, please stay safe, and thank you ever so much for watching.
Peace.